Hello everyone, today we'll be taking apart an Xbox steering wheel from 2013. It's just been sitting around for a while and I've just decided today's the day to make a video about it. I've always wondered how it actually works and guys trust me, there's some pretty cool stuff hidden inside. We'll check out the steering wheel, the pedals and every little part that makes it work. Let's open it up and see how it all comes together. Right over here we have a mini DIN 6 pin female connector. And right next to it, we have the RJ45 port. And over here, we have the main 125 volt, 2.5 amp connector. This is the last screw that's holding the steering wheel to the base. I don't know why, but rotating this thing just felt very satisfying. Right on the steering wheel, we have the Mini Din 6 pin female connector. And on the base, we have the Mini Din 6 pin male connector. Wow, this steering wheel actually feels pretty solid. The spring right here is what makes the shifting feel very satisfying and responsive. This is how the steering wheel circuit board looks like. They, they use these membrane PCB switches that are used in keyboards and calculators. Here's what's inside the control system. Here's some membrane switches again. Now let's power up the steering wheel and see how it looks like. This is my first time seeing these type of 
250 volt 2.5 amp connectors. Right over here, we have some type of transformer. They used a pretty decent mid-range capacitor. Let's find out what this transformer's output voltage is. Wow, this chip that they used for 2013 is actually pretty good. You guys will see why in just a second. Let's compare the Texas Instruments 2013 chip to the 2023 Arduino R4 Renesis chip. The 2013 Texas Instruments chip is around 1.6 times faster than the R4 chip, but it's around 1.8 times larger overall. Here's the pedals disassembled. Uh, I forgot to record, but honestly, it's pretty basic. It's just some potentiometers and wires. I will say the the brake is very stiff. I would need to put like a 25 pound weight to just press the brakes normally. The pedals use a RJ45 cord if you guys are wondering. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me take apart this old 2013 Xbox for our steering wheel. It's always cool to see how these things are built. Let me know in the comments if you guys like to see this kind of teardown content or if there's something else you guys like to see next. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.